encourage you to make use of the guide boogles. All squares are closed. Please proceed. You need it at the Coliseum right away. Please move swiftly and calmly. We've arrived at your destination. Sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring! No, uh, excuse me. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. I need you to step back, please. Report the incident rep on the other side. Taken witness statements. to the director once you've taken witness statements. Shit. It's like I told you. Someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra.
insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like. It is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of low lives, ruffians, and ne'er do wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically, another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mark, name it. Mark, give it. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, Merc for Hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gonna tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it! I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight! So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir! It runs on guilt! So much so goddamn guilt! So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Right, oh, help us out. Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of it. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say, there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, ah. That's Gus to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? But at least I'm not alone this time. That's right. You just follow me, or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. Your new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimp. Hi, Master. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. 
Kiko needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. How come y'all get to What are you talking to me for? Go get the food! No one will notice if I sneak a few, right? Considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a common effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travel. Thinking of making a run for it, are ya? somewhere more quiet. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't bite. You got it. Just straight ahead. Oh, am I holding you up? What? Got a problem? <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you. Promise. <laughs> Interested over there? Where do you think you're going? Nothing interesting over there. Look who's back. You lost or something? Uh huh. Keep going. <laughs> Sorry, but you're stuck with me now. Oh, am I holding you up? Uh huh. Keep going. <laughs> Allow us to show you how things work. Here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. Yeah! <laughs> Too bad. Ready? Let's finish this. It ain't too late to start. Wrong. Here I come. You know, you 
could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you. No. We won't do it again. <laughs> Promise! <laughs> I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dying. But hey, I ain't picky. Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. <sighs> you seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible. solid pictures of the prison, so let me know if you find any other good backdrops.
won't take long. You had your chance. All done.
know you're in for it. your hands on some greens, huh? People around the prison have been telling me they give their birds sand baths to get clean. Wonder if it's any better for a person to brush down. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. Pay attention. Looking for a place to hole up? You found it. Enjoy your stay in hell, brother. No need to say a word. I already know your story. You're on the hunt for chocobo greens, am I right? Well, I'd be willing to scratch your back, provided you'd be willing to scratch mine. My casino happens to be plagued by a gaggle of rather eccentric Queen's Blood players. I'd love it if someone could take them down a notch or two. So, think you're up to the task? I'll handle it. Much obliged. Outlandish though they are, they play a mean game. So mean that it's scaring away my clientele. I need someone to get out there and prove they can be beaten. Got three troublemakers in total. Still looking for action, no doubt. Thanks in advance. Before you go, though, you should take a look at the cards I have for sale. I guarantee they'll come in handy.
<laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined. I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to let your car down, you know. So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the gutsy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. play Queen's Blood. That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life. Completely demolished. Well played, good sir. But my problem is not that. Don't you agree? Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention. So maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Never heard of traveling. Wanna know my secret to victory? It sounds like glug glug glug. Hmm? Oh. Where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh. You big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. 
And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice. A confession to make. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauced to the max. So watch out, boyo. Anyone eat these cheeks for us? I love it. How the hell did I get roped into this? Keep your noses to the grindstone. And there's the man of the hour. Thanks to your efforts. Demand for Queen's Blood is back and stronger than ever. It's at an all time high. Which means my profits should be too. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out. People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs, unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. How come y'all can 
to eat veggies. It ain't fair. Notice my sneak a few, right? Pico's been feeling peckish. It's a start, but nowhere near enough. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. to my swindling seminar. Today, for the very first time, I'll be unveiling the art behind the con, teaching you the tricks of my trade. Gone are the days of getting duped. Remove the wool over your eyes. And you, sir, have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying, while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography, Meditations on the Underling Life. It's no talking aloud in the local weapon shop. And that includes- Hey, you have- I gasped when I found out the weapon shop sold elixirs, which immediately got me kicked out for making noise. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? Yeah, the finest booze around, pure as the driven snow, not watered down one bit. No talking aloud in the local weapon shop. And that includes any shouts of surprise when you find out they sell elixirs too. You gotta check out- Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this- Have you tried the beast battleground yet? I hear that type zero monster- Gus's- You gotta check- I gasped when I found out- the Congratulations. Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. 
Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? Establishment, please peruse the selection. My store will always be open to you. Keep your noses to the grindstone, people. You better pray. Miss your chance to throw it. Feed a few fiends, and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya.
too, if you're in the market for a little danger. come in handy for our next champion bird. Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Well, there's always Desert Rush. Can win some veggies there. Good luck out there, cutie pie. How come y'all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. Give it a try. You won't regret it.
Good job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. Have a good day. Hope to see you again. Yeah. Same. Hey, nice find, Merc. Kick the tar out of those other jockeys. How come you all can eat veggies? as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. Right? So, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go rolling the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, Follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. 
I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me. In the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? Boy, huh? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh, sure, I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe, he's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave high when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sin here can help with that. <laughs> 